Now we have Bailey. Tumetoka kwa mamio, mio, mio, mio. <laughs> Tumetoka kwa mamio, ndoko tumeingia kwa Bailey. This is Bailey and in studio with me is Jana and Alvin. Jana and Alvin, welcome to Good Morning Kenya. How are you doing? We are doing good, thank you're, you so much. You're doing all right, Jana? Yes. yes. You're still supposed to be in, motion, in, in character. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you're still in character. All right, if we may just begin by you explaining to us what that was, what that performance was. Uh, so for that performance, uh, that was the beat that, that's act two, Kupilia, first of all. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a show about uh, a doctor who has, who's creating toys mm -hmm. in human form. So, so, uh, so Kupilia is a toy mm -hmm. and the whole story comes in when there are four, there are four characters, a couple that lives there. So this is act two of it. Mm -hmm. And it's where she, they come in with, uh, Jana comes in with her friends in my, now I'm the doctor in, mm -hmm. the, in the toy shop. And now they all run away, but Jana is left. And we actually sneak in yeah. because um, Swanilda, the character I'm playing, is mm -hmm. engaged to Franz, mm -hmm. and he actually falls in love with the doll that he made. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm jealous, and I go into the house, and then I pretend to be the doll, and this part was when I was pretending to be her. Okay, so what we were watching was, was you pretending to, to be, be the, the doll. doll. Yeah, and I'm like amazed that my doll is, has, come to, has come to life. Okay. And it's a doll, so everything I'm like, why is it? It's working. Yeah, that's why when you were looking all yeah, fascinated and trying, and trying to see if, yeah. is it a joke or something else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I love that performance. <laughs> so, Jana, if you may just tell me, how did you get into ballet? Um, I think it was, I was really small when I started and uh, my mom decided to try something new and I really liked it and I wanted to continue. Mm -hmm. How long have you been, um, how, yeah, how long have you been doing ballet? Ten years now. Ten years? Well, how, wh how old were you when you started? <laughs> three. You were three years old. By age three, you were doing ballet? Yes. All right. So you went to training to a school, or how did you go about the training? Um, yes, at an after-school program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Alvin, mm -hmm. when it comes to ballet training, yeah. how do you go about it? And are guys also, or do I say boys, mm -hmm. or the gentlemen, do they also do ballet and is the training different from the ladies? Uh, actually, yeah, the training is the same. Mm -hmm. It's just that uh, here in Kenya, there is no more, there is no guys in ballet. Yeah, so actually, yeah. Not at all? There are, but okay. very few. Yeah. Very few, mm -hmm. very few, yeah. And yeah, the training is still the same. Like, there's no difference. It's just that there are some exercises that we do different, yeah. Yeah, even when you're doing your classes, you do something different. You do like, they, we have tours that's jumping and spinning all around. Mm -hmm. And they do different things and us, we do different things. But it's all the same training, yeah. Nothing different, you know. The difference is that they go on point yeah. with their point shoes. And us, you don't go on point. Mm -hmm. But Also, the men don't do that. Yeah, they don't, yeah they don't go on point. Having yeah, their feet. Yeah, but <laughs> it has come to be reviewed and they say that they want to try it out so oh. we can also try the point but still it's a it's a challenge it's a cha why is it easier for the ladies okay i know we are the better gender <laughs> just saying it's a joke yeah, but yeah, why, why is it easier for for ladies to be on their tippy toe and it's more difficult for the gents i, I think it's the training still it's about the training mm. yeah like th we reach somewhere we have like point classes and you find that there are no males in point classes they're just females mm. so they ha you have to practice your ankle you have to keep your ankle on feet and you have to do some exercises so you find yourself you have the you have the muscle and the capability of holding yourself on point yeah yeah so yeah it's really yeah Jana, i really want to know how it feels to be on your on your tippy toes like that don't they hurt does um. your feet hurt did it ever hurt for before you got used to it? Just tell me about 
being on your tippy toes? Um, when I first started, it hurt a lot. Mm. And also, it depends on the type of point shoe you wear. And later on, uh, you, you start wearing the point shoe which you like. And this, on which type you wear, it depends if your feet will hurt more or less. Mm -hmm. And it also, you wear toe pads, which are like a type of cushions, and which cushion you, when you dance. So there's some cushion at the front of the, of the, of the, of the shoe? Yes. Oh, so at least it cushions you from getting hurt, yeah? But you said you, you still used to feel some pain. Why did you choose to still continue with it? Because I like dancing and um, point shoes are part of ballet and mm -hmm. when you dance, it's very pretty to watch someone on point. It is pretty, yeah. What do you love most about ballet? Um, I like all the energy you need to dance and how when you dance you feel like you are full of energy and you can go on forever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you have different styles of um, ballet? Do they have names? Like I know this is being on your, this is point? Yeah, yes, point, this yeah. point. Do you have different names? Yeah. It's, it's, it's a new style for me, so I really want to learn. Do we have different? Yeah, we do have different names. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have plies, that means the bending and stretching. We have tondus, that means pointing now. Like you flex your feet, point forward and you point back. That's the tondus. Mm -hmm. And we have so many names, pirouettes, that's spinning on one foot. And we have the tour that I was saying, that's when you jump and spin in the air, and then you come down, land. Yeah, yeah. Releve, so there are different names. Mm -hmm, yeah, there mm -hmm. are very different names. And mm -hmm. more it's basically based on French. Yeah. yeah. Can every ballet dancer do every bit of uh, the, the styles that you've mentioned? Or there are those who specifically, like, just work on this? There are others who work on this? Uh, actually, it's like a school. Like, mm -hmm. like there's levels. Like, there's play group, there's pre-primary, there's primary. So it goes with the level. So you find that those who can do, they are maybe in grade five or vocationals, they're doing the vocationals, that's intermediate and intermediate levels. Mm -hmm. So you find the little ones cannot do the steps, but we teach them to gain the steps as they continue so that yeah, it's like a process, like these steps comes to this and this one comes to this, mm -hmm. like it just comes and upgrades itself mm -hmm. all the way, yeah. So you're a ballet teacher, obviously. Yes. Uh, Where did your interest for ballet come in? Mm, it came in when, after I finished campus, and I was like, after COVID, yeah. and I was like, my friend came and just told me, let's go for auditions because I used to dance. And we went for auditions and I was asked if I could be a teacher. And yeah, I said, yeah, I can. Yeah. I can try because it's a, new, it's, a new, it's a new area which has not been tapped in Kenya. It's mm -hmm. not tapped a lot. Mm -hmm. And they said, let me try it. Yeah. You don't know what will happen. So that's how I started ballet. I started teaching ballet, yeah. Hustle, I trained, hustle. Yeah. <laughs> Mboka. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. And um, for you, Jana, from the styles that he's mentioned, do you have a favorite? What, um, like, in, when dancing ballet, do you have a favorite? I don't know how, if they're called styles. Do they have a specific steps, next step? Ah, thank you. <laughs> do you have a particular step that you really love? I like jumps and concert days. How do you do that? It's Just show us. The There's jumps. not enough space in here. Oh, okay. For instance, a little jump would be this one. Mm -hmm. It's just a little jump, mm -hmm. but you can have big jumps where you do the split in the air. Mm -hmm. And I also like turns and pirouettes. Those are the ones you love most. Yes. Okay, tell me about your most recent performance. Where was it and what were you doing? Okay, uh, aside from the one we've done here, because that's the most recent, now a recent one. Um, the Nutcracker. Oh, yeah. And it's the most famous Christmas ballet and many um, ballet companies, ballet schools mm -hmm. um, do it every Christmas and I was the snow queen in it and I danced with Charles. Oh, I love that. That must have been really nice. I've heard of the Nutcracker. They, w they played at K&T, yes. right? Yes, yeah. You were not in there? December. We were there. Oh, yeah. you were there, yeah. yeah they were there. Sometime in December, just before Christmas. Yeah, November. Yeah, because I remember we hosted one of the teachers, one of the ballet teachers yes. was here for that. If I may ask you how the ballet dance 
vaccine has been received in the country? Where are we at the moment? Mm, for now, it's it's gaining recognition. Yeah, like people are gaining again and knowing the steps. Like then understanding what Bali is. It's not like long time ago you'd say Bali and somebody was like, "What is that? Yeah. What is that? Mm -hmm. You have to tell somebody. You have to go on point. If you're not on point, you're like, and you're like, ah oh, no." I don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. yeah, you always say Disney, but now for now, they know what's happening. Like, because we also have an, organi an organization that goes through schools, that helps schools, like the public schools, and we teach them different types of talents, and ballet is among them. Mm -hmm. So I think for now, we are somewhere, we are going somewhere, yeah, yeah. and it's been recognized there. Yeah. Is it a sport? Is it a dance? Is it? It's a dance. It's a dance, it's, it's not a sport. It's not a sport. Is there a competition for ballet? Yes, there is. Oh. In, yeah, internationally, there is. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Uh, even there was one that we sent one of our students there yeah, in, was it Italy? Yeah, I think it was Italy, yes. Mm -hmm. We sent one of our two students, two students there yeah. to perform, and yeah. So when it comes to ballet competition, is it, do they come in a group? I'm really clueless. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why I'm really, I'm asking, I want to get to understand. Like, is it that, um, they dance individual. Do they have solo performances, group performances? Yes. There's different categories. Different categories. Okay. It's mm -hmm. Just like drama, like having different categories in drama, it's the same as ballet. So there's the padeda, which you can do two, two, mm -hmm. of two mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. and also there's a group, and also there's the solo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Kenya has participated in some of this. Yes. Does. Dance um, uh, yes, competitions. Yeah, but for us, it was the padeda. It was two people performing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah, doing a, doing a variation, mm -hmm. yes. All right. I want you to tell me about your most favorite performance. My most favorite performance? Um, I don't know. I like them all. They all have something special. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess I'm very looking forward to Coppelia. And um, yes, it's a big role that I got in Coppelia. And I'm very happy to be able to dance on stage. And mm -hmm. I like the story. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So where is uh, the performance happening? You have a performance coming? Yes, it's yes. coming up next weekend. Tell me about it. Uh, it's going to be at Braeburn Gitanga, uh, Garden Estate. And it's going to be on the 24th, Saturday and Sunday from 2 in the afternoon. Most of the shows will be in the afternoon. So mm -hmm. two shows in the afternoon for both Monday and Sunday, uh, for both Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's the entrance fee for those who would love to come uh, watch uh, Jana and the rest performing. So for the entrance fee, the children are paying 1500 mm -hmm. and the adults are paying 1800 mm -hmm. And at the gate at that time, it will increase by 200 So I think, yeah. So yeah. That's the, yeah. Mm -hmm. when, for those who are watching and would love to come um, watch you perform, what do you promise them? Like, what, what will they get from the show? What will they... They'll get beautiful dancing mm -hmm. um, and a uh, very nice story. And with it's a pretty, sto it's a story full of comedy. And the part which we danced now was um, one of the comedic parts, but it wasn't that clear now since there wasn't lots of the props, mm -hmm. but it will be an amazing ballet. Mm -hmm. What does it take to be a good ballet dancer? When do you get to say that this one is a great, ballet dancer? I think for me I'll say persistence and more training. Really you have to train. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It's not like normal, like you can just come up and just say I'm a ballet dancer and all that. You really have to train. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if you see somebody doing some steps and you tell someone else to do the same steps, you will see the difference from a ballet dancer, a professional ballet dancer and someone who doesn't, who's starting. There's a big difference. Yes. Yeah, because yeah. it's, it's, it's you really have to be training for you to yeah. be. I mean, we've seen the things she does. She's still in character. <laughs> like, the leg is not hurting, leg. mama. <laughs> <laughs> when, when I'm in um, point shoes and in costume, it feels weird to... To be upright? Yes, it feels <laughs> weird to stand like this. I'm like, <laughs> wow, this is she's me. been like this throughout. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right, uh, your parting shot as we finish up the show. Uh, for me, I can say just uh, believe in yourself in what you want to do and 
just be persistent and don't slack back. Just know it's you and it's only you. Mm -hmm. No one else can chase the bag for you. It's just you and you. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's all I can say. You're yeah. parting short maybe to the little ones who are watching and would love to be uh, great ballet dancers like yourself. Um, you can become a ballet dancer if you love dancing and you love ballet and you're willing to work hard. And But important is that you really, really, really love it. Mm -hmm. All right. Good stuff. Thank you so much for coming to the show. And I'm really hoping to see you guys at the, at the, at the event. I'm hoping I'll, I'll be able to come so that I come watch the entire performance. And uh, if we can just finish off with you doing a bit of it still as we wind up. Okay. As we come and look. all the very best all right this is where we call it a wrap right here on good morning kenya entertainment thursday thank you so much for keeping us company i believe that you have been entertained today from the beginning when we started with akina gudaman and jeff and then we went to the dancing maasai and the beautiful ballet dancing that we have just experienced and of course our very able dj unique the dj today was just mixing for us all local. Today was just local, right? Local. Just local music. Yes. All right, we do this again <laughs> next week, same time and place. Until then, goodbye.